guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video I filmed my second look using the Jaclyn Hill Bling Boss palette which is this gorgeous purple palette which comes in the Fold Collection by Jaclyn Hill and Morphe Brushes. I really wanted to film a video where I used that bright purple and this is what I came up with. I remember a while ago I did a look where I used purple in the crease and pink on the eyelids and this is like the reverse version where I use pink in the crease and purple on the eyelids and me and my older sister we used to sleep in one room when we were younger and we had a bedroom which was purple and pink together it used to be like my favorite combination of colors so I guess this look is kind of inspired by my old bedroom <laughs> but yeah let's dive into this video I hope you guys will enjoy watching so the first thing I always do before applying any eyeshadow is priming my eyelids. I'm using the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot, which is my absolute favorite eyeshadow primer ever. And I'm taking a small kabuki brush from Sigma Beauty and pressing and sort of blending this all over my eyelid. And when I'm done with that, I'm also going to set it with a little bit of translucent powder. So for today's video, I'm playing with this palette from Jaclyn Hill and Morphe, which is called the Bling Boss palette, which comes in the Fold collection. And the first shade I'm going in with is called Hush Hush. And I'm taking my Sigma E40 brush and I'm just going to blend it all over in my crease. I wanted this shade to be like very, like, I want it to be as much as possible in my crease. I really wanted to show up that color. So I went in a few times back to like make it as intense as possible. So now I'm taking this Morphe 35B eye palette and I'm going to use that fuchsia kind of shade. I really wanted to stick to using like only the Bling Boss palette, but I really wanted it to have like a more of a pink vibe. And for this, I really needed to add like one different eyeshadow that didn't come like in the eyeshadow palette. I think almost everyone has this palette. It's like one of the most loved palettes. I know at the moment it's discontinued because um, they're coming back with an even better palette, which I think has like the same shades as the Morphe 35B. I'm not really sure, but I do think it has something to do with a collaboration with James Charles. Really excited to see like what is it all about because if it will be like a Morphe 35B palette with the texture of the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette, I'm really excited to try that out, even though I already liked the Morphe 35B for what it was. So now I'm taking this shade, which is a little bit darker. It's like a more intense version than like the Fuchsia shade I just used from the Morphe 35B palette. But if I would go straight in with this shade after using the Hush Hush shade, it wouldn't really turn out this way. And I also feel like whenever I go in with a light shade, I always like to go in with like an in-between type of color. Because if you go in with a very dark color, like straight away, it can be really hard to blend out. So that's why I went in like with the Fuchsia shade, which is more of a in-between type of color. I really hope that makes sense. And I hope you guys have something like similar at home if you want to recreate this. So now I'm taking this color Jam, which is like the color that I really wanted to use. Um, I did a different look with this palette as well, which I will link down in the description bar, which is like more of a smoky eye. But I wanted to do like at least one more look with this palette and use this purple color because I think it's really beautiful. I'm really into purple eyeshadows. So I definitely wanted to do a look with it and that's why I'm using it right now. So now on top of my eyelid, I'm going to use this RXI glitter, which has almost the same type of purple color as the eyeshadow. So I'm going to press this all over the eyelid using a MAC Mixing Medium Gel. And the brush that I'm using is a MAC 242, which is a very nice brush for applying eyeshadows on the eyelid. I'm just going to softly press it on the eyelid. I didn't went in with too much of the glitter just in once. I really tried to slowly build it up. This way you will get like a less um, chunky finish if that makes sense sometimes if you go straight in with too much glitter it can look a little bit chunky and i want to avoid that at like at all costs so i went in with like a little bit at time so this is how it looks when you apply the glitter and i'm really liking how it's looking so far i think it matches perfectly with the eyeshadow 
So now I'm going to take some eyeliner. Today I'll be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeliner in the shade Jet. And I'm just going to create a simple line above my lash line. I'm not going for a winged liner. Um, I just gonna keep it really simple. I want the focus to be on the eyeshadow. So I apply a line above the lash line. And then off camera, I also applied a thin coat of liquid liner, which I will mention in the description bar. So I'm going back in with the shade Rockstar. And I'm taking a flat diviner brush, which I will use to press this eyeshadow underneath the lower lash line as tight as possible against my lower lashes. This is a trick that I got from Jaclyn Hill. She started using this brush and I think it's the perfect brush for doing this technique. So I'm taking that Fuchsia shade again from the Morphe 35B palette and using that to blend out that Rockstar eyeshadow. And since I used it in my crease as well, you can now really easily like blend it underneath the lower lash line, then go a little bit towards the um, out of the area and it will all blend together. Now I'm taking this fascinating eye pencil from MAC Cosmetics, which I believe is from the Chromographic Eyeliner line, if I'm not mistaken. These are pencils which are a little bit drier of consistency, which will make it more long wear. Now I'm taking the shade VIP, which is a very light shade, which is in the Armed and Gorgeous palette. Also included in the um, fold collection from Jekyll Hill and Morphe. Um, but you can use a highlighter if you don't own this palette. Just use a very light color. Um, it can also be golden. I think that will also really suit with this eye look. So then I'm popping on some lashes. Today I'm using the Snobby Lashes from my own lash company, Anitude. At this moment, a lot of lashes are out of stock. But these are like very dramatic, smoky kind of lashes. And here you can see how the eye look looks with the lashes on. So now that I'm finished with my eyes, I'm going to start with the lips and I'm going to use this lip pencil from MAC Cosmetics, which is in the shade Stripped Down and I'm going to line my lips. Then on top of that, I'm going to use this Dose of Colors Barely There Lip Gloss. This is a lip gloss in collaboration with I Love Sarai. Not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. And I think I used it in one of my previous videos as well and I am just obsessed with this color. It's like the perfect nude lip gloss. I don't really feel like contouring today so I'm only going to warm up my skin. And I'm using the Mineralized Skin Finish Powder from MAC in the shade Medium Deep which is one of my favorite powders to bronze. And the brush that I'm using is the 108 Suiva brush. So now to glow my skin, I'm taking this highlighter from Natasha Denona, which is the newest Super Glow. I'm taking it in the shade 02 Light Medium. I dropped it once, but I can still use it thankfully because this is such a bomb ass highlighter. It's really beautiful. And I want to mention that I did use a shimmery a liquid highlighter underneath um, on top of my foundation. So that's the glow that you can already see on my skin. So I do want to mention that I did use this and this will obviously make the powder highlighter look a little bit more intense. So now I'm going to apply this on my cheekbones using a Morphe R26 brush. And I'm also going to apply a little bit underneath the brow bone using a Anastasia A14 brush. Just blending it like right underneath the highest point of my eyebrow. And I'm blending it up like a little bit lower so that it blends together with the mattes. My skin is looking glowy. Can you guys see that? I am loving the Natasha Denona highlighter. Like no joke. It's just freaking gorgeous. So now on top of my cheeks, I'm taking this blush from NARS and this is in the color Luster. I'm taking my Suifa Luxure Cheek brush in the number 127 and applying a little bit on the apples of my cheeks. This is a very gorgeous color. It's like a very neutral tone so whenever you want to go for like a blush that isn't like pink or peach you just want to have like a very neutral type of blush this is really gorgeous like for example if you're going for a red lip 
Sometimes, you know, when you go for a pink blush, it's just a little bit too much. So this is definitely a blush that I would advise to get if you're wearing a lot of red lipstick. It's just really gorgeous and neutral. And to set my face, I'm going to use this 3-in-1 Hangover Spray from Too Faced. And then here you have the end result. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video where I used the Bling Boss palette from the Jack O'Neill and Morphe Fold Collection. Let me know if you want me to do another look. Um, I, this is like my second look, but maybe I can do a look with this shade as well. I haven't used it yet and it looks really gorgeous. It's like a champagne kind of, I don't know how to describe it, but it looks really beautiful. Maybe it would be nice like all over the eyelids. But if you want me to do um, another video using a palette, just let me know in the comments what particular shades you want me to use so I have a little bit inspiration. But yeah, this is the end of the video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy watching. This will be really helpful for my YouTube channel. And of course, don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already. And hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye guys! Mm -hmm.